Okay, so I'm at the stand with um, Gang Beast, with Michael and James from Bone Loaf. Yep. Um, so why don't you just start off by telling us a little bit about Gang Beasts and the idea behind it? Um, we were prototyping a kind of physics uh, animation system and we just thought if we, could, if we could get a satisfied punch mechanic we could build a game around it. So um, everything we're doing in the game really is just to kind of um, give you opportunities to hit each other uh, or, or to kill each other in certain uh, interesting and unusual ways. So uh, at the moment we're just prototyping a number of different levels to kind of work out what is fun to play with. And the game's mainly at the moment um, a multiplayer game, but there is also a story mode, single player and co-op that we're working on, which is kind of influenced by games like uh, Street of Rage, Final Fight, that kind of game. So how long has it been in development so far? Uh, we decided to make this game, I think, in mid-November, so quite recently really, but we've been working on the, um, on the animation system prior to that. We were working on a different game, which we'd still like to do at a, a certain point, but we, um, we're committed to making this now. Because it seems quite well developed already for things you've been only yeah, going Yeah, it's in pre-alpha. We just, I think, because we're kind of um, new to this, we just kind of wanted to make sure it was playable before anybody got hold of it. So there are obviously uh, bugs and annoyances in there, but we're we're kind of doing our development in public, and um, our kind of um, research and development comes from, and our Q and A comes from, like people uploading videos to YouTube or events like this. Yeah. We were talking about it last night, actually, myself and Tom, my co-host, who should be here, but isn't. Um, <laughs> it's disgraceful. <laughs> it's disgraceful, terrible, isn't it? Um, we were saying that we'd be quite happy to buy it now. Yeah, it's yeah. We, we, people um, seem to look at it and think it's pretty well realised. I mean, we see this as a, a small portion of what we want to do. Um, because we're brothers, we've kind of had ideas for some of this stuff for, for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. So our, our kind of concern is just to, to keep it simple and achievable. So. Um, that's why we kind of simplified the game that we were making and um, we just want to do a little bit more in the city, um, string some of the levels together for the story modes um, and then we'll be looking at um, hopefully getting it on early access and then we'll kind of take feedback from the community and um, see what people are enjoying, see what people like and try and um, get a, a full, full version of the game released. Okay. And what about the, the characters themselves? Because I love the look at them, the kind of morph idea. Are you yeah. keeping them like that or are you planning um, to develop there's them? There's been a lot of... Yeah, do you want to yeah, they're, they're, uh, they are actually placeholder art, um, mm -hmm. but there's been a lot of love, them, love, love for them, them so uh, <laughs> we'll probably clean them up a little bit and uh, we'll keep them in in some form, maybe as unlockables. Yeah, basically, at, at the moment we wanted to have customization and, and kind of gangs because gangs are a lot about identity and the, the kind of beautiful idea for the game would be for you to form gangs, custom gangs with your friends and go up against other gangs and then we can have like local player tournaments but also online stuff happening um, and that would be like the ultimate ambition so we're looking at online multiplayer but we need to kind of just make sure that the network latency issues around kind of network games don't have a significant impact on gameplay um, if we could support that we definitely will with, seems, sorry, go on. Uh, with a bit of customization as well we could uh, have it so you could hang off someone's beard or hair pulling, hair pulling, steal someone's hat and <laughs> put your hat on yeah. anything Good. like that we'll try Basically, any ideas that come to us or anything we think of, we'll prototype really quickly and try it. And if it's fun, because there's like three or four of us at, uh, in the office at any given time, we'll just we'll just try it. See if it works. If it works, it'll, it'll be in the game. The, the grabbing mechanic seems to be the thing that's holding people. I mean, that's what yeah, yeah. we remember it's, the most. It's yeah. If, if you've seen the Ferris wheel level, um, yeah, that's the kind of thing. the one that kind of opened up a new sort of area of possibility. So as you're falling, if you realise that you could just grab as you're falling, mm -hmm. as long as your posture isn't such that you're land on your back, you'll grab hold of something and it puts you back in the game. We did there's that a, yesterday, yeah. There's also a climbing mechanic coming. It needs some resolution because at the moment if you try and climb whilst in contact with somebody else, you'll fly off together into space. Because um, <laughs> it's all done with forces, you have to kind of balance that. But uh, once that's in the game as well, you're kind of never truly defeated. You've always got that extra chance. And also, when you're dying, sliding down the side of a truck or something, you've kind of it's kind of multi-stage. There's kind of angst, and then more angst, mm -hmm. and then death. So, um, <laughs> and you can take someone else out with yeah. you. And, and, um, yeah. yeah, and when you're playing against friends, that's it. Just gives, it kind of fulfills, fulfills that kind of banter and gives you the opportunity to be disgraceful towards your friends. <laughs> um, or your brothers. Yeah. <laughs> or your brothers. Yeah. Or your sisters. We have a lot of yeah, sisters that's very true. Yeah, in this game. that's very true. Um, it seems to be quite, uh, from what you've been saying, an easy process so far. Has there been any challenges that you've come against while you've been making physics. it? <laughs> yeah, working with physics. <laughs> <ideas. laughs> oh, it's hilarious though, working with physics, but obviously yeah. you have to kind of incrementally tweak everything. So it's taken a lot of kind of uh, fudging and tweaking and kind of uh, testing to get the character to be this playable. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot more we'd like to do with it, but we're just, we don't want to deviate very far from here. We want to keep it somewhat sloppy mm -hmm. because that's what people enjoy. It's like kind of the surprise and the reversals and the accidents. It's a whole um, circumstance like, I think. It's just, it's not quite accurate, 
Oh, it's, it's nice. Yeah, but it's, it's realistic enough to look absolutely brutal at times, but that's offset by the kind of cartoon aspect of it. So, um, yeah, we, we won't deviate very much from here, and we'll we'll keep releasing um, like playable versions, um, especially when we're able to access. We'll try and do that pretty regularly, so we're getting constant feedback about um, anything we've changed. Okay. And what platforms are you going to be releasing on? Um, at the moment, it's Xbox. Um, sorry, <laughs> at the moment it's PC. Uh, Windows Mac and, and Linux, Linux yeah. um, but we're hoping to do Xbox and um, PlayStation 4 as well, and we'd love to do um, Wii U as well. And what sort of release date are you looking at? Uh, for, for the early access, that could be as soon as the next couple of months. Um, it really depends. We're talking to some publishers at the moment, and if we do sign with a publisher, then they may advise us to do something different. But if not, if we're doing it all ourselves, um, which we're considering, then we would uh, go on early access and do it that way. Um, we just need we need to get some form of uh, investment just to be able to continue uh, development because we're kind of self-funded at the moment. Um, so we're just looking at options, basically. We just want to uh, give ourselves enough time and uh, meet our subsistence costs so we can kind of concentrate fully on the game because we were only working on it uh, part-time until very recently and it's just been kind of validated enough. People, enough people seem to enjoy it that we kind of we committed to go full-time and really want to make the game now. And how can people find you on social networks? And uh, we, yeah, uh, at Boneloaf, at Gang Beasts, uh, they're the two main ones on Twitter, and we've also got the Facebook uh, for uh, Boneloaf and Gang Beasts, and our website is boneloafery.com. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.